welcome back to Autodromo Vallelunga for race two of the weekend in Euro NASCAR 2. But in the first race of the weekend, Tobias Dauenhauer was the man to beat, the German claiming victory. There was action behind Noah's Andreas Jukumsen was looking for second, made a mistake coming out of the corner, and that put him and Dylan Deardala both out of the race when contact was made. Tobias Dauenhauer came through to claim victory from Vittorio Garelli and Alessandro Brigatti, two Italians and a German on the podium. The format for the weekend, two championships, four races in total over the weekend, two races for Euro NASCAR Pro for the professional drivers and two races for Euro NASCAR 2, which is the young and the amateur drivers. So let's have a quick look around this circuit as well, because it's the first time that the NASCAR Wheeling Euro Series has visited Vallelunga. It's 4.1 kilometers long, just over two and a half miles. Some very fast corners, some very tight and technical corners. The Euro NASCAR 2 race will be held round two over 15 laps. It's also the fastest lap times that were set in race number one that give us the grid for race number two. So number 50, Tobias Dauenhauer, will once more sit there on pole position. Let's grab his thoughts ahead of race number two of the weekend. I'm very happy that I could win the first race. So um, now I have the chance to start from the pole position. And uh, my aim is to build a gap at the beginning of the race so that I can set my own pace and drive my own race laps and uh, hopefully it will be the same result like in race one. So the cars are about to head onto the grid. Tobias Downhauer looking to try and make it two out of two on his debut in the NASCAR Wheeling Euro Series. He starts from pole, Alessandro Brigatti alongside. Andre Castro and Vittorio Gorelli on row number two, and it's Nicolas Risitano and Alex Giompi on row number three with Chris Ricard and Vladimir Joitsis sitting there on the fourth row of the grid. Buckle up, we go green for the second time this weekend. And again, it's a really good start from Tobias Downhauer who leads the pack through the first corner and up towards the very fast Curve Grande. He leads the race. Andre Castro slots through into second position by the look of things. The American who started third on the grid already having gained a place, but he's coming under pressure from Alessandro Brigatti and Nicholas Risitano by the look of things as they work their way through the right and then the left-hand flick. Alex Giompi, I think, is the next of those that sits behind at the wheel of the number 17 Ford as we ride on board with Nicolas Risitano trying to hunt down the car ahead in the hands of Alessandro Brigatti. Onto the brakes, Risitano looking for the inside line. Brigatti just, I think, is going to miss the apex here as the two of them have to go wheel to wheel. Can we out of the corner? It will be Nicolas Risitano that has the advantage and he goes through up into third position in the early stages of the race, but he's now having to defend on the run towards a braking area for Sorati, the left-hander. Side by side, it looks as though Alessandro Brigatti is going to reassert himself back into third place. Nicholas Risitano back down into fourth position. Alessandro Brigatti is now also trying to attack the number 22 car that lies ahead as well in the hands of Andre Castro. Fantastic racing, pure racing. Through the right-hander at Semaforo, then up towards the tighter left-hander at Tonentino, which is where they're heading now. Alessandro Brigatti having to attack and defend at the same time. He's almost lost out here to Nicolas Risitano, and I think Risitano tried to work his way through, but no, just enough done by Alessandro Brigatti so as to hang on to third position. But the fight for second, third and fourth is a great one, and if they're not careful, there'll be more cars queuing up behind before too much longer because they are slowing each other up, and it's allowing the next pack of cars to begin to close in. And it's also allowing Tobias Dauenhauer, the race leader, the race one winner of the weekend, to continually pull away. Andre Castro working overtime at the wheel of the DF1 racing Chevy to try and hang on to the position. He's got right behind him Alessandro Bagatti, but for the moment, the 21-year-old American who finished 18th in the Elite Two standings in a mixed year in 2019 is working hard because he's still got Alessandro Brigatti behind him. Then the Solaris Motorsport number 12 car of Nicolas Risitano. And Nicolas Risitano now is starting to get caught as well. Fantastic soundtrack that the 5.7-litre V8 engine makes, producing 400 brake horsepower, which can really be unleashed through the fast sections of the circuit. Up towards the braking area, for what is Chimney 1. That is the number 11 car of Julia Landauer that is coming under pressure by the look of things. And I think that might be Giovanni Trione that sits behind. Yes, it is Giovanni who last year competed in the Elite Drivers Club in 2019, is putting the American Julie Landauer under pressure. Back towards the fight for second and third places. Still as they were. Still Andre Castro working overtime to try and keep Alessandro Brigatti behind. Nicolas Risitano now has got caught by the next of the cars in the queue, which looks as though it's Alex Giompi. So 
They're starting to pair off a little bit. Andre Castro pairing off with Alessandro Brigatti and Nicholas Risitano now rolling his sleeves up and trying to keep Alex Chompy at bay. A little bit of contact there. Alessandro Brigatti just making contact and a bit of a bump and run there as Andre Castro loses the place and Alessandro Brigatti goes through. And now all of a sudden the four... The second, third, fourth and fifth places are all back together again. Brigatti up into second place. Down to third goes Andre Castro. Nicolas Risitano still sitting there in fourth place. And Alex Jompi completing the top five. We go on board with Andre Castro trying to hunt down the driver that's just stolen second place away from him as far as he's concerned. Out of Roma, on towards the start-finish line. Tobias Downhauer comfortably still in the lead of the race. Looking for back-to-back -back victories if he can make it count here. And at the moment, well, he's not under any pressure at all. He's got the brake nice and early on. He can just afford to stroke the car around the circuit and try and maintain the gap on the squabbling pack that sits behind. Back on board the number 22 DF1 Racing Chevy of Andre Castro up towards the braking area. And, well, now, was there contact or was there a problem under braking or a mistake there? The outcome is, is that Andre Castro is pointing in the wrong direction and in the gravel trap, I'm afraid to say. So that's his race done and dusted. Dylan Dare-Darla, number 98, is being kept very busy at the wheel of his Ford. He has got right behind him the Ford, number 18, in the hands of Vittorio Corelli. The two of them are pretty much together in towards the braking area for the corners, with not that far behind them, the Chevy as well, in the hands of the Danish driver, Andreas Jokumsen. So, Dylan Dare-Darla doing a good job at the moment of keeping the advances of Vittorio Corelli at bay. Is the Italian going to be able to pick off the number 98 car in the hands of the 28-year-old Belgian. We'll have to wait and see. They head up towards Tornantino, which is the tight left-hand hairpin. In towards the left-hander they'll go. Vittorio Garelli gets a good run coming off the corner by the look of things. It is side by side up towards the S's. Has the inside line for the next corner and is able to go through. So Vittorio Garelli now claims the place. Dylan Dare Dala drops down a position and is now coming under pressure from Andreas Jukumsen. The Ford goes sideways. Dylan Dare Dala heading towards the gravel. He just, with lots of arm twirling, manages to keep the car out of the gravel trap. Will continue in the race, but is going to have very dusty tyres for the next couple of corners. Now, this is Chris Rickard, number 48, fighting away with the 11 of Julia Landau. This is for 14th and 15th position. And you can see that also trying to join in in the fun as well is going to be the next of the cars, which I think is Francesco Caristo, who is coming under pressure from the number 24 of Guillaume Dumoury, who rejoins the championship for this year. Great to see Guillaume back out. Guillaume looking to try and work the number 24 Monster Energy Chevy through the order. Up towards... The S's, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six cars all together, all busy squabbling away. But at the front of the queue for it all is the Marco Steep Motorsport car in the hands of the Swiss driver, Chris Ricard, who is having to work overtime to try and keep everybody at bay. Julia Landau pushing really, really hard at the wheel of the PK Car Sport car. She shares it with the Euro NASCAR Pro driver, Stinis Long. She looks for the inside line. There's contact between the pair of them. Julia Landau is launched into the air. Chris Rickard is out with severe damage all down the left-hand side of the car. And that is going to put both of them out and surely will bring about a safety car period, I would have thought. The rest of the remaining four cars out of the six still continuing with, by the look of it, now at the front of that queue is going to be Francesco Garisto, the number 42 car. Right behind him is Guillaume Dumoury, and behind Guillaume Dumoury will be Davide Dallara, and Davide Dallara will have Vladimir Zdjoitsi sitting behind him. Out front, though, Tobias Dauenhauer has controlled, really, the whole weekend. He was on the pace in qualifying. He was on the pace in race number one, despite the fact there were a couple of safety cars in race number one. Every time we went green again, he opened up the lead. That's exactly what he's done in this race, really. Got the break early on, has built the lead, has built the advantage, and it's certainly looking as though the 22-year-old German who came through the NASCAR Wheeling Euro Series recruitment program over the course of the winter, having previously competed in things like ADAC and GT4, has raced at the Spa 24 hours, done a bit of Blancpain racing as well, sports car racing, has been the man to beat over the course of this weekend in the Euro NASCAR 2 division, throwing the gauntlet down to the rest of the drivers as we head towards the next couple of races for Euro NASCAR 2 that will be coming up at Zolder in a few weeks' time. Up towards Roma comes the number 50, Hendrix Ford, turning his way through the right-hander. Tobias Downhauer is going to make it a double victory here on his debut weekend in the NASCAR Wheel in Euro Series. He is already now two times a race winner. Alessandro Brigatti will come through and finish in second position. And Nicolas Risitano comes through to complete the top three. Ahead of Vittorio Garelli in fourth place. Andreas Jokumsen in fifth. And Alex Chompi 
completes the top six. So back to victory lane goes Tobias Downhow. Two wins out of two means he leads the championship standings on 80 points from Alessandro Bugatti in second place. And Vittorio Gorelli sits there in third position. He receives the congratulations of the Hendricks Motorsport team. A delighted Tobias Downhauer. Let's hear from the race winner. Yeah, I'm um, totally happy. I'm speechless. Uh, I can't get it better this weekend. So thanks to a very, very nice car, to Hendricks Motorsport, to Ed Set, all my main sponsor. And yeah, perfect weekend for me to start as a rookie. So it was difficult to uh, win this race uh, in a difficult condition, a hot temperature. So, but uh, at the end, it was perfect uh, performance by you. Yeah, I tried to build a gap at the beginning and that happened. So I could drive my own pace and my own lap times. So I'm very happy about that, but it was defi definitely, definitely very hot in this car. So very high temperatures and uh, it's not that easy for the drivers. And now what about the, your future in the championship after this amazing day? Yeah, I'm looking forward. I can't wait anymore to the next races. Um, yeah, hopefully the same results like this weekend. So yeah, totally happy. So onto the top step of the podium for the second time this weekend comes Tobias Dauenhauer. That means that he is so far unbeaten in the 2020 season. He also is unbeaten in the rookie trophy classification. Came through as the winner again from Andreas Jochumsen and Alex Jompi. In the lady trophy, Ariana Cassily this time claimed the win and Julia Landauer finished in second place. And in the legend trophy, it was a win for Ariana Cassily from Eric Quintal.